because how the body responds to the stimulus is fairly universal, there's not a whole lot of extra considerations we have to take into account. The main thing we got to know is do you have any medical limitations? As your doctor said, don't do this, that, or the other thing. But the biggest thing is do you have any orthopedic or range of motion limitations? Because the biggest thing we got to do is we got to get you appropriately fitted on the exercise machines that we use. And we're very fortunate we use a, a rehabilitative uh, brand of exercise equipment that we've made special modifications to. But the good part about it is it is adjustable in multiple planes. So rather than having a piece of equipment that says one size fits all, we have a piece of equipment we can build around the individual's body proportions so that they're using the correct range of motion. Now if someone has a bad shoulder and can only go from here to here, we can delimit the range of motion on that machine to involve only that range. If we can do that and get them stronger, then what we can find over time is once we get you strong in that range, we can take that limitation of range of motion and pin it out one in either direction so that you're now not here and here, but here and here. Until you get strong in that range and then you're here and here, and over time we'll get you back to a full and complete range of motion by restoring strength in the muscle that supports that joint through its full range of motion. Most people become stiff and crickety not because their joints are defective in some way, it's because their musculature is not strong enough to support movement when the joint angle becomes non-advantageous. I can hold up a whole lot of weight when I'm fully extended my joint angle is 180 degrees. But when I get to 90 degrees and try to hold up weight, the force output through that joint with a cosine of, zero, of 90 degrees is a force output of zero you're much more mechanically disadvantaged there and you've got to be strong. So a lot of people can't get in an acute joint angle. That's why you'll see elderly people walk with very stiff legs because if they lose the mechanical advantage of that joint angle, they don't have the musculature to support it and they'll collapse. Um, so really amongst individuals there's not a whole lot of special tweaking that we got to do. but um, you know, we just kind of get the scoop from people and then we go in, size them up on the machines. And just through eyeball and experience, we guesstimate what we think the appropriate resistance for you is. And then right out of the gates, we work you hard. If, if you have the capability to reach it, we will take you to complete muscular fatigue right out of the blocks. Um, because there's no reason not to do that. It's not dangerous. Actually, as you become more fatigued and weaker, your force output drops, so your ability to bring enough force to your body to injure yourself actually decreases. So the harder it is, the safer it gets. So we take you in, size you up, and take you through.